Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what the narcissist will do to trap you when they lose control of you. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. When the narcissist loses control of you, they will do this to trap you. There was a time when you didn't understand what was going on. And you were trying as much as you could to make things better. But it didn't make any sense. Because nothing you did made the situation better. You were running endlessly on a hamster wheel, trying to please the narcissist. While the narcissist was doing everything they could to keep you in this hamster wheel. Instead of working with you towards a resolution, where you may both then find peace and happiness. And that is when you realise that there is something very wrong here. Until you find my videos and then it all begins to make sense. Because then you understand that you're dealing with a narcissist. And when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, they will want you to give all of your efforts. While they give different meanings to why you're trying. And they're vague about everything in order to mislead and deceive you. Which leaves you to become very busy to where you're constantly trying to make sense of everything because you genuinely want the situation to be better. So you're changing everything about yourself in order to please this person, which leaves you very confused because no matter what you do, it doesn't change anything. And it never will change anything because covert narcissists are master manipulators. They use devious means to exploit, control, and influence people to their advantage. They will convince you to believe that up is down and right is left. They want to take you as far from reality as they possibly can. Because reality is against them. It puts them at a disadvantage that is impossible for them to overcome. So rather than you doubting their perception, they want you to doubt your own, and they specifically target people who have a lack of self-trust. People who lack guidance or direction, because then they can lead you astray. They can give you the wrong directions. They can cause you to act or think foolishly, to cause error or wrongdoing. They can make you believe things that are not true, and encourage you to do bad things that you should not do. But when something goes wrong, then they focus on you and blame you. And you focus on you and blame you. Until you accept that if there is something wrong with you, then you need to get help. And then that may have been how you found this information. But now you know that no matter how wonderful of a person you may be, the narcissist will always project their traits onto you. And they may even call you the narcissist. Because no matter how hard you try, it will never get better. Because they don't want anything to get better. They enjoy drama and chaos. So the more chaos you feel, the better they feel. While the more calm you are, the more chaos they feel. Because they have a mental disorder. So they are constantly experiencing significant disturbance in their cognition, emotional regulation and behaviour, which is very distressing for them. And the only way they can feel better is by creating chaos for you. But you're constantly trying to make the situation better. You're trying to reach their awareness and the hope of them understanding so that things can get better because you're depending on them for change. You're not understanding that they don't want things to get better. 
They're quite comfortable with the way things are. They like their disorder. It protects them from ever seeing themselves as they actually are. By keeping them in a lower state of consciousness. So they are never going to change. And they're going to keep trying to cause you suffering. Because your emotions are like air to a narcissist. It gives them narcissistic supply. So the more emotional you are, the better they feel. But they know when you figure them out. They can sense it because their supply dwindles. And when that happens, they play dumb. They act like they don't know what they've done to upset you. They act like they don't understand why you would question their integrity. Because as far as they're concerned, their attitude, behavior, and decisions have not had any effect on you. And it is actually you who has affected them. Which is why they will then play the victim. Because now they know they don't have control over your perception of them or your perception of reality. And when you don't believe in their false persona, they feel like they have been wronged by you despite how badly behaved they may have been and despite what they may have done to you they will say that they never did what they did or said what they said and as though they have no idea why you're upset they will say you're too sensitive they will say you've misunderstood they will play on your empathy and expect sympathy and compassion as they distort the facts to their selective memory because they will only seem to remember what is favorable to them whatever makes you look bad and makes them look good rather than what actually happened so that they can paint you as a monster while portraying themselves as innocent and blameless as someone who remained good and honest despite being betrayed by you and it really doesn't matter what they've done to you. You will always be painted as the villain to anyone who will listen. And if you try to fight back against their false narrative, they will gaslight you. They will cause you to doubt yourself. But you will know that you're being gaslit because you know what you saw and what you heard. You know what they said and what they did. And when they realize that they can't gaslight you, that's when they will re reveal their real nature and character. Because they're like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. As long as you follow along with their narrative, they're fine with that. But when they struggle to control how you see them with their gaslighting tactics, that's when their mask begins to slip because then they become more and more frustrated. They express distress and annoyance at their inability to dominate and control you. And when that happens, the worst thing you can do is argue or try to defend yourself. Instead, you should hold on to your perspective and to let them say what they want to say. Because if you give them enough rope, they will hang themselves. If you give them the freedom to do what they want and the way they want to do it, they will fail and become weak by doing it the wrong way. And they will begin to expose who they really are. Which is why they will then have to work overtime to manipulate and control other people's perceptions, to control how people see you and what they think about you and how they feel about you. This will all be done behind your back, because narcissists are cowards. But they will go out of their way to make people believe false and unpleasant things about you. They will target people who are easily influenced. And they will even brainwash their own children. So you may experience people you know, or even random people, behaving poorly towards you. Even though you may not have done anything to provoke them. But it's because the narcissist has been very busy spreading lies and rumors about you. And the greater your ability to detect who and what they are, 
will determine the severity of their narcissistic injury, which will result in a typical smear campaign, which results for many years. Where they paint you as all of the things that they actually are. Because although they may be toxic and abusive, you will become the villain and they will play the victim. They will lie. They will deny anything that they have caused or done. And then they will label you as a fraud, a fake, a bully and a manipulator. Or the one who is crazy and needs help and cannot be trusted around children even while they continue to enable and protect themselves and other people who cause damage and destruction. People who should probably be in jail, but instead they turn against you because you notice what they were doing or because you threatened to expose them. Either way, when that happens, they know that they have no control over you and your perceptions of them and it causes a narcissistic injury to where they will begin to rage and strike back and they will want to cause as much damage as possible as much pain, trauma and destruction as they possibly can in the process of them leaving. Narcissists do not exit quietly they want to go out with a bang in a grand and dramatic fashion in a way that everyone notices and talks about it because then they can blame you for why it ended and tell everyone how bad you are because they see you as difficult and pleasant and rude for seeing them for who they really are instead of seeing them how they want to be seen because in their minds you have no right to set your own reasonable standards limits and boundaries you should accept what they want you to accept. You should see it how they want you to see it. And you should remain motionless in toxic environments with toxic people while pretending that there is no manipulation, dysfunction or abuse. Because unless you're willing to do that, they will see you as being rude, inappropriate and intrusive. But they will feel entitled to stalk you and this helps you to recognize that you're dealing with a narcissist because it reveals that they lack the emotional maturity to actually do anything sane, logical and healthy to where they may then help to resolve the issue. But instead, they will stalk you in person or on social media to see what they can take as a personal offense even though there may not have been anything that was intended to cause upset and there wasn't anything intended for or directed at them but they will take it as an offence and they will see it as though it affects them and nobody else because they're narcissists and that's what narcissists do they're paranoid and hypersensitive to insults or criticism because they're always dishing it out they're just waiting for someone to hit back at them. And they think everything is about themselves. So they're always looking for something. They're nitpicking and fault finding to have an excuse to blame and accuse you. They're very defensive because they've done a lot of bad things. So they're just waiting for it to catch up to them. They're always looking over their shoulder because they're very anxious about what you may do to them which is how they're only ever thinking about how they can label you as the issue to take the heat off themselves. But sometimes it becomes too much for them to bear to where they may just hoover you back in with emotional manipulation because they sense that you are distancing yourself or because you've got no contact. But when they're doing this, they're just trying to calm their nerves because they're so paranoid and hypersensitive and their shameful wrongdoings are always on their minds which is why they will try to provoke an emotional reaction out of you because it validates them and it lets them know that they're safe and they may even promise to change 
but it's future faking. It's fake. It is never going to happen. And they are never going to change because they lack empathy and conscience. They believe that they are perfect and superior. So they have a very strong sense of entitlement, which means that they believe they can do whatever they want because they can't ever do anything wrong. Which is why if anything ever does go wrong, they will blame you because in their minds, they are faultless and flawless. They will only be sorry once you've moved on and they no longer have access to you. But they won't be sorry for what they did to you. They will only be sorry for the consequences of their actions that they now have to deal with. But they will use it as a means to gain sympathy and attention from you. If they aren't able to persuade you, their only other choice will be to move on to another unsuspecting target. They will have to find someone who is easier for them to manipulate than exploit. They will have to find another source of narcissistic supply, which may not be good for the new target, but it will be good for you, because then they will leave you in peace. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.